Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we have two similar figures. We know the volume of this figure, which I'm going to call it V sub L, the volume of the large figure, is 432 pi cubic inches and the volume of the smaller figure is 250 pi cubic inches. And we need to find the scale factor. For that reason I'm going to use this rule you see down here. And I'm going to look to this ratio of the volume because the volume are given here, right? So I'm going to write this R cube and I'm going to make it from large to small. In other words, the volume of the large over the volume of the small figure. And this will be 432 pi. Four hundred and thirty-two pi as the volume of the larger figure over two hundred and fifty pi. So here, the first thing you want to do is to simplify the pi, and the ratio becomes four hundred and thirty-two over two fifty. And now here, you want to look and see if any of these numbers that are part of your quotient is a perfect cube and none of them is a perfect cube but both of them are even numbers so they are divisible by 2 so I'll suggest to divide by 2 432 divided by 2 will be 216 and 250 divided by 2 is 125 in this moment if you notice 216 is a perfect cube 125 is a perfect cube 6 to the third power is 216 and 5 to the third power is 125. So basically, if I want to find R, I'm going to take cubic root of this expression 216 over 125 and that will be 6 over 5. If you uh, have a calculator, you can use the cubic root on the calculator the only problem you're going to get a decimal here. So the R, the scale factor for these two similar shapes, is 6 over 5. In, in other words, if I know the radius of the small figure and I want to find the radius of the larger figure, I just multiply by 6 over 5. Be careful if you go backwards from the large to the to small, you're going to have to multiply by 5 sixths. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.